What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle, and today we are bringing you episode number four of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Tizzle Map Tutorials. In today's episode, we're going to be showing you the map frequency, and this is the map right here from the satellite view, the top to the bottom, the uh, Bluetooth layout. Now, I said Bluetooth. Why the hell did I just say Bluetooth? Doesn't matter. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the series and you enjoy all these videos in the past, or if you haven't seen the videos in the past, make sure you go check those out. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you are new. It really helps the channel grow, gets the videos out there so other people can view them as well. And I think I have a lot of content on this channel that people want to see. So be sure to do that. Help me out. Sub to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it. So first things first, this is a satellite view of the mouth. I just said Bluetooth for no reason. I don't know. I I don't know why I said that. Blueprint. I think that's what kind of what I was looking for. It's kind of like the base layout of the map. Now, one thing you notice right off the rip is it's very symmetrical. Other than the big circle on the left side and then kind of like the round um, mushroom shape. Yeah. Uh, on the right side, it, it kind of it's very, very symmetrical. As far as things on this map for online multiplayer, there's not a lot of things that happen here. There's not a lot you can do. Um, there's some spots that I'm going to show you, some head glitches, some nice little areas that you can snipe from, lines of sight. And that's basically it. There are some glitches to actually get under the map and on top of the map. I don't know about on top of the map, but under the map for sure, inside the map. But I won't be showing those today because they do not affect your multiplayer gameplay whatsoever because you actually need unlimited grapple to do that or unlimited gravity spike to do these glitches. And yeah, let's get into it. So that's my dead body. Don't mind that. Um, first thing I want to show you is right here. You have this little area you can peek through and these maps are symmetrical so anything i show you on one side can be done on the other side for the most part um, i'm showing you that because a lot of people like to get aggressive and rush the flag back here because that is a spawn so what they do is they, they go right up here and then they hold this this angle and watch the spawn from here or they'll cut across and they'll try to you know look here or get behind this and look here so they try to spawn trap from here very often and I would say the best way to counter that is if you know you have a really aggressive player and you're taking those mental notes throughout your gameplay and you know you got a guy that's been pushing your C flag or A flag, whatever one this is, for 75% of the game, you can get ready for that. You come off spawn, you notice he spawn trapped you one time, um, you got the kill on him, you know he's going to do it again. Go ahead and get ready. Just go ahead and get here, you can get this information. Or in Search and Destroy, if you're in a 1v1 and you need that critical information, spawns are always key in Search and Destroy. A lot of times... If you get to the enemy spawn and search and destroy, so let's say that we actually spawn to the other side, if I'm on here in a 1v1 situation, spawns are critical. I can lay here and I can get so much information just from laying here. So from this point right here, I can see people come up the stairs and I can see people cross right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can barely see people cross right here, just from here, this one spot. And once you see someone cross, you can pop up and get them or... You know, now you have information what side they're going to, which place, you know, what part of the map they're going to, or, and you can make your adjustment from there. All right, so next up, we have this head glitch right here. Head glitch is a very, very popular spot. Um, a lot of people like to sit here, just aim down sight. Most of the time, people will try to challenge it from this angle. I mean, unless you're just God tier, you can, I mean, you can just rip this guy off the head glitch. One thing that you might want to do is challenge from mid so like if you climb up this window and you're in here and you know that guy's still there I do this I hop around so not like that I kind of get more of a jump I hop around so now he's gonna adjust quickly so he's aimed down sight here he sees someone jump right here now he's, he's panicking the first thing they're gonna do usually initially they're gonna back up and kind of let off their scope to try to recenter and you know get the the target right back on them so he's gonna freak out and now you have the uh, advantage because he backed away from his head glitch. Even if he doesn't back away from the head glitch, you still have the advantage because you can get some shots in before you even hit the ground, take him out, and go on your way. Alright, so next up is this little circular area. This is a control point. i um, not sure what else to see. I think it's just a control point. Maybe a bomb in Search and Destroy. I haven't really played Search here. So one thing about this area is it has all these head glitches that you can use to um, pre-snipe an area or, you know, get your aim in on, on one area on the spawn, see them walk around the corner, take them out, do the same thing on this side, 
symmetrical map, so do the same thing on the other side. Or if this you see a guy pushing and he's got like a Spitfire or something, you know he's gonna get the first initial shots on you and he's gonna outgun you up close. You wanna get some shots on him, you can go ahead and get around the corner and you can wall bang this whole entire wall. So I would do that, take some shots on him, go ahead and hit anybody moving up to here. Same with this wall, you can wall bang this wall. So get a peek on someone, see them there, boom, shoot right through it. See that bullet hit right there. So same with up top, see someone there, get behind it. Boom, shoot right through it. Next up, we have the same little area on this other side. This is it right here. You have a couple head glitches here. If you push up, you can own this spot. But this is tough. This is a tough positioning for this guy here. Unless you're just super fast reaction time wise. It's very tough for you because he can run around. The, the opponent can run around here and really challenge you from wherever he wants. So he can see you here, doesn't want that fight, and then you know you can come back out. I just jumped off the map. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, if you do peek out here and you see someone here, you can slide back, you know, get a little peek on them there, slide back, get a peek on them there, you can juke them, get the kill, or you can um, get the advantage because you, you can control it all from this one pillar. Like, you, it's, it's not blocky or anything, so it's not really getting in your way. You can kind of hug it to get the positioning and the everything that you need. All right, next up, we're in their spawn. So, like the other side, we're going to get back to the other side eventually, but I'll go ahead and talk about it here. So, here's your one section. This was on the left side last time. You can see through here. A bit, just a little bit. Not too, too much. You can see through here, though. Um, you can see through this area right here. Right when you come up, there's this rock on the other side. It's a big cylinder. This little box where the planter is on the other side. Um, you have this little area. You have another little planter here that watch in the mid. You have this big block area. There was another one on the other side. Not much going on back there. If you want a long shot on this map, here's a little pro tip. You can get a long shot easily with this line of sight right here. Let me go ahead. So this line of sight right here is a long shot. If you need long shots and you happen to get this map, this is a terrible map for them. So you can kind of sit in the back of the map and try them from here. All right, next up we have this little area on this side. You can push out here. You can jump on this little fence and you can actually see all the way down. This is a nice little long shot line of sight. Good for sniping. A lot of people like to push recklessly outside here. You can take your shot. You can see this head glitch pretty well. You can get an easy peek on it. Um, you can jump on top of it and see a little further back. If you want to challenge someone down here but you don't want them you know you don't want to just run this way you can always jump down onto the grass first jump here challenge from this side you can push around challenge from this side you can jump on the pipes challenge from here so a lot of different things you can do from that one position now vice versa if you're on this side like I said the map is symmetrical so you can find this on both sides of the map and you want to push up into their spawn or you want to wait so search and destroy is all about positioning angles and everything gunfights like you can have gun skill but if you get the right angle on somebody then um at the right positioning you can definitely win a lot more gunfights so you know someone's back here so let's say um we're peeking this we see someone we just see someone cross a little bit back there we got their attention we can kind of sit here wait for him to come come around i mean he's not going to see this unless he's looking for it if he's just running like this, he's barely, he can barely even see you. Or if he's looking like this, he's obviously going to see you. But he's just going to run around like that. And you can see him cross here. Another thing you can do is you can sit in this little area, tuck. I like to use this a lot in my gameplays because I'll get like, you know, on a kill streak and I'll be low on health and I know they're just going to keep coming. I'll slide over here and I'll get tucked away in here. Notice my gun actually tucks. That's how you know you're in the spot. So I tuck my gun like this and I can see them cross here. And we'll run through it real quick and you can see that the screen is blocked off pretty fast they will not be able to see you especially if they're close to this wall they're not gonna be able to see you at all or if they run over here obviously it's the same thing so these pipes you can climb on them use that you can you can use the head glitch from here you can move around use these pipes instead of running down here if you want to take advantage of that play these little corners or you can play the head glitch it's up to you so we have this little box thing on this side. There's one on the other side as well. These are very, very popular head glitches. 
can use these to take out people that are up top mid take them out bottom on these pipes you can um, use it for this side you can use it to take out people coming through you can use it to take out people on this side even people that are up on that catwalk area as for this this is another key head glitch people like to look at this and and watch kind of from afar I mean from afar because they don't like the or I mean some people can't aim it on sites but I like to sit here and kind of just wait for see where the people are coming from so if someone you know I'm standing here someone comes from the left that was bad for a shot but I could take them out someone comes from the right take them out from the right and you can use this as a nice low head glitch um, these boxes are key because they have these little lips on the outside on the right angles of them these little I said right angles on these little angles the corners and you can use these for more protection so obviously he can't shoot my head here but now I have really good positioning just like that so there's that you can do it from here see I can shoot this guy get behind it shoot this guy some more get behind it come over here shoot this guy get behind it um, there's another one on the other side same thing I'm gonna shoot this guy get behind this thing same with this you could take down model mid or you can shoot the guys in the pipes right here here's another one of these little boxes and then of course you have your pipes as well here's your little corner just like on the other side tuck your gun here watch them cross get them you can jump up here wait for them to cross here um, you can also do your little snipe spot from this side or if you want to get down you can jump down through here or if you want to get up from this way so you see someone here you don't want to challenge them right away this is gonna be used on the other side too but let's say I'm peeking somebody and they know I'm obviously here I can just jump onto this then jump onwards and then attack from here so now we're on the spawn again as you can see here's the planter here's the uh, where the rock was on the other side here's where all the garbage was on that side here's this little area here here's the other planter so a lot of things very very symmetrical they um, they made this map literally I think they did this on purpose so it can have a nice flow on both sides no matter what and I mean it plays nice it is a fun map to play I just hate it because how dark and gross it looks it just yeah I, I don't really like the whole flow I'm I don't like how, how dark it is I don't like the color of the map um, but the flow of the maps nice it plays pretty fun or fast so you can use this planner here to um, look into this mid building now that we're going to start talking about mid another thing you can do is you can so we, I call this square so square has a pillar on it I love pillars because I can like aim at this guy shoot him and I can slide around the corner then if he goes that way I can uh, juke him a little bit I love pillars uh, so on this side you can use this little desk to look into their spawn get people off the head glitch here um, watch people come in pretty easy you can look into here you can look in the square up here at this stairs this hallway you can get up here and you can watch people in this control point you can stand out here and watch them you can you can look inside here if you got vision poles you can shoot right through this wall pretty easily um, pretty nice little area the window is pretty much like a control point although it does have three ways to enter you can jump up through here and get into the window you can uh, run in through this area and take the hallway and get into the window or of course you can come this way jump up and get into the window so if someone's camping up there you have three ways to enter that's how you do that all this is wall bangable you shoot through all this stuff so if you see someone in that window don't just try to aim for the head if you don't feel like it if you got FMJ on go ahead and light them up because it will go through it will hit them on the feet and it will do more damage than you just missing a bunch of headshots um, next up in mid we have this little rectangle area which is very very key for a lot of gunfights because you can literally see everything from here so we can look in the square people like to tuck away in the corners you can see them in square you can sit here and look a little more in square you can see up top window you can look inside mid or not mid uh, the cylinder area I don't know what to call that you can see inside that control point area you can look over here for people climbing up you can actually stand up here and look down there's a lot of things you can do from here can peek this window from here this is a nice little spot because you have this extra little protection right here on this corner 
peek up here. Um, use this to look into square. Both sides map like it's symmetrical, so obviously it's going to be on the other side too. Can't do anything from this area. I mean, you can jump peek it if you would like to. Here's a little box into square. Now this down stairs area. A lot of people take the ladder. You know how I am about ladders. I do not like them. I think that it's wasting my time. There's a little hop up right here. If you don't want to take the ladder, just hop up. Uh, next up, we have another square area. We have another little desk that we can look at every single angle from. Here's the window up to the control point. And then again, you can do the little hop, take this person out here. You can actually shoot through this thing too. I don't know if that can help you with anything, but you can shoot through this, which will go right over here. Another thing you can do is you can lay down on this couch. Don't know why you would want to do this either, but we were messing around and you can shoot through it. So there's that it's a good little hiding spot. And then, yeah, you got your window for uh, mid control. So that's going to do it, boys and girls, for the map frequency. Like I said, just a very fast playing map. It's very symmetrical, balanced. There's a. If you got flag on one side, it's not like you're too spawn trapped. Both sides are pretty even. It, it makes for really good gunfights and a really fair match, no matter what. So there's never like a bad side or a good side. So take advantage of the symmetry on the map and just know that if someone's on one thing on one side you can do the same thing on the other side so there you go hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up i promise the next one's going to be better i'm going to upload it tomorrow and that's going to be on the map gridlock gridlock has a lot more spots and a lot more th cool things to do so be sure to check that one out right after this we should be uploading the paladin sniper gun guide so be sure to check that one out and that's it so thank you guys for hanging out sub to the channel if you're new thumbs up the video it's your boy, Jay Tizzle, and I am out. Peace.